But I, I think I'm gonna take this. I heard another one drop. Boom, we got all five. Puts us up at 77.5. We could also probably max the crit in our uh, combat tree. And that'd probably help out a lot. <clears throat> um, for getting over 100% crit. Um, with Hansi. Like, pretty easily, I would think. Yo, 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 everybody, what's going on? It's Lodi's here, back with another Nordic Ashes run. So hopefully you all been enjoying the content. If so, make sure you guys tap that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Every little bit counts, and I do greatly appreciate it. Without further ado, let's uh, jump right into this and see how we can get things going. We're going to run Hansi this time. Deep Crystal and see how that goes on uh, Hard Mode in Alpine. Um, I was looking at, not this... Um, this, um, basically conquer any realm five times with Hansi to unlock this skin. So basically after we win in hard mode on Alpine, we will unlock this skin, which will be pretty cool. Not that the skins really matter, but they're just something else to work towards, I guess. But let's jump in and try and get to something going here and see if we can make something happen. Um, here, and hopefully we can make something, uh, <clears throat> I don't know, something happen. Um... I feel like we will have to, um, well, we're going to go double, double upgrades on him to see how that goes. Um, should be interesting. Um, I don't think I'm too worried. Um, it was a struggle a little bit at the, at the start, um, when we first started running, uh, this one, but, um, I think, I think we'll be okay now because, uh, we're able to get the two ascensions, so I don't think it'll be too bad, actually. I mean, it's going to have some pretty good wave clear, it looks like. Um, sure, I'll grab that. Why not? Um, come up here to this guy as well. This is the time one for a full red heart. Sure. I'll take that. We got 13 points. Might as well. Um, I think I'm going to go crossbow again as well. Um, because pool, shadow pool critically, critical attacks have a 25% chance of throwing a dagger in a random direction. Oh, so maybe we should go daggers. Shadow pools slow them down and deal every. Okay, let's let's try the dagger one out. <clears throat> Projectiles, I don't think it's gonna matter too too much. I don't think. Oh, let's do this. Crit damage and duration. <clears throat> um, I mean damage sure. Critical probably wouldn't be bad. I mean I definitely want more projectiles. Oh, that's not a bad one. Seven up to seventeen. And if it crits, it, I think if it crits, it has a chance, right? 25% chance. That's actually pretty high. So, if we're critting 100%, then out of that 100, out of four, we should get daggers to throw in a different direction at least one out of the four attacks, right? Or one out of the four puddles, I should say. So, which isn't too bad. Not too bad at all. Right now this way. That's why we need more projectiles going down. The more projectiles, the better. Um, creates multiple daggers that rotate on themselves. Damaging enemies. Okay, so that's like the the spinning uh, spinning daggers. Okay. Not too bad. I don't know, I, I just get more satisfied when we run the daggers on Hansi because, like, the wave clear is just insane. And it just, I don't know, it just feels so much better. It just feels so much better. I mean, maybe if you get higher cooldown on this, it wouldn't be too bad. But, I mean, it still feels alright. I'll take this. And we'll head to the gold mine, since we have no gold. At all. Maybe we should start with more gold. And try and get that upgrade. This isn't too bad. I mean, it's just like every other build. Like, it's... 
It feels good, but it's not like anything crazy. There's only like three crazy builds that I've came across at least. Daggers on this one's not bad. Um, the ones that I'm talking about though is Air. Surprisingly, Ace. Um, and Helgrim's Lightning. Or Halfgrim's Lightning. Um, other than that, maybe Thyra's Potion Bombs. That one's pretty good too. I mean, we're up to 16 points. Let's uh, spend some on some upgrades. What projectiles and crit could be pretty good. Cooldown and damage. This one I definitely want projectiles and damage. Perfect, and we don't have points for it. Thank you just as much. Keep the cooldown. But also with this build, this is definitely could be like, I guess Amaranth is pretty good too. Um, OP wise, but this one like you could just, I think this one's probably kind of like a standstill build. You could definitely stand still with this one. I do like all the projectiles though. This one does kind of feel like a slow run right now, because like we're not the. Uh, we don't really have to worry about dodging as much. So the time's kind of going by a little little on the slower end. But I mean, it is what it is, right? Not doing too bad. I think we'll make it through this one just fine. Um, which would be another character. I mean, there'll be another character with hard done. Um, not expert, though. Um, I... I want to do an Axeldor run, but I, I am a little worried running him because he's just, I don't know, he just doesn't feel super strong. So, I don't i don't know. Um, we could try going Swords. Um, we could go Stormbringer. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the, the Hammer. I mean, the Hammer with the Fire Trail wasn't bad. Um, Bran kind of sucked a little bit. Um... We could try the lightning, uh, the lightning armor, but I don't think that'll be too good. So I think we're gonna probably stick with Stormbringer. Um, I may actually run um, the sword for hard and, and save Stormbringer for the um, expert mode. But I, I don't know. I don't know, we definitely need to, um, I feel like, spice some stuff up, because, like, after we run, like, everything, it's just like, okay, now what? <laughs> now what? Okay. This just seems like a standard, uh, run right now. Not really too worried about much. We definitely need to, um, okay, definitely want to pick all that up, if possible. Give us, like, projectile? <laughs> Heck yeah. Another projectile. And then we'll max this out. That's actually not bad at all. Especially once you get cooldown maxed out. Maybe projectile speed? I don't think getting that is going to matter much. I mean, we don't have... I'm going to hold out on that one. Um... I definitely want to get, I think, the bow. And then max out damage. Which shouldn't be too bad. I mean, we're doing 126 crit when we do crit, which is pretty good. Pretty dang good. Okay. It's definitely a lot of XP down that um, I would love to pick up. I'm not really too worried about that. A little bit of gold here, a little bit of gold there. We're definitely not killing them as quickly as I would like. Okay. Oh, and 
kill him a little quicker. Definitely on the slow end this time. I mean, we're 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 doing some decent damage, but it's definitely definitely slow at melting him. There we go. Got him. Holy cow, that was slow. Um, it's almost thinking of doing like another run where we don't get anything. But let's, let's grab you. Let's grab another blue heart. Why not? I mean, even if I roll, I can't get anything, so... It's peace. Here. 15 gold for damage received is increased by half a heart. Ooh, okay. So, 1 and 1.5, which is too bad. Um, as long as we don't get hit, of course. It's not too bad. But would increase our damage significantly, up 50%. Realistically, if we get more crit... And get the 150 over crit, like that could be crazy too. Um, this one's if we for the cooldown, that this could actually be really good as well. Um, I'm gonna save my points for the uh, point uh, altar there. Just go point altar and see what we got down there. Hopefully something good. Oh, if we do get okay, we got two of the orbs. If we can get three more. That'd put us at 75% crit, which would actually be pretty good. Ooh, almost got hit there. Oh, there's one. I do hear the sound. It's almost like a shing kind of sound when it drops. We're up to 47.5, which isn't too bad. There's another one that just dropped. We got four out of five. Okay. Boom. Got that. I mean, that was actually pretty easy. Yeah. Kind of hoping to either get crit overall or crit on the daggers. More or less, crit overall would have been pretty good. Um, let's see, let's do that. Let's get this. Juice this up. Do damage. Okay. Should be pretty good now, hopefully. I mean, more projectiles would be best, but hey. Beggars can't be choosers. Yeah, we're not one-shotting the big green blobs anymore, which kind of a little worrisome. But hey, I think I'm gonna take this. I heard another one drop. Boom, we got all five. Puts us up at 77.5. We could also probably max the crit in our uh, combat tree. And that'd probably help out a lot. <clears throat> um, for getting over 100% crit. Um, with Hansi. Like, pretty easily, I would think. Um, yeah, we only have effect probs and attack speed. For some odd reason, I was thinking we had a, a crit um, monolith, but we don't. I don't want to dash into uh, any bad guys. We have five points. I think that's how much this is going to be. Reduces 15% cooldown for each green heart you have. Sure. That could actually get probably pretty crazy. Oh, it looks like we... We did dash into something because we did end up losing one of our orbs because it just it dropped another one there that we picked up. Ooh, almost got hit again because I got snagged on the uh, the rock up there. I don't think I can pick this up. But I'm gonna try. Oh crap! I can. Huh? 
Interesting, so you can still pick it up, but it doesn't count toward anything. Dash this way. Okay, I'm good. Pick you up. A lot of gold down south. I'm gonna head down there. At least try and make my way down there. Okay. Being in that ring where, like, monsters aren't immune to anything anymore could be crazy. Because I'm seeing a lot of immune popping up <clears throat> when we try and hit these guys. Okay, I dodged all that, surprisingly. Ah, <clears throat> oh, crap. Lost the cooldown. Freaking blinked and I freaking walked into something. And I was kind of glancing up at the map at the same time. Bit of a bummer. Oh well. Okay. Have this. Bunch of gold right here. Huge one down there. See, I'm not a huge fan of the wave clear on this, because once the boss comes, we're not going to be able to dash away from him very well. Um, this one might not be bad to take. This two. Area might be... Area, maxing out area actually will probably be pretty good with um, this to make the puddles bigger. I don't know how much bigger, but that could be pretty good. 178 crit, it's not too bad. Okay. So another one. That actually hit me. Oh my god, dude. I'm trying to make my way down south. What the flip, man? I'm gonna end up freaking dying here. Oh my gosh. Well, I wasn't going to buy anything, but now I feel like we have to. Plus one damage, maybe, but. My movement speed's already in the toilet, so. Sure and sure. Slowly working on leveling uh, Noki up. Alright. I mean, this would put us over 100% if we can get back our, uh, whatchamacallit. Um. So I think I'm going to do that. I, I, I think taking that is going to be our best bet. Um, we do need to heal, and we are only down to one um, Shadow Orb. Plus one projectile is actually pretty good too, especially for what we're doing. So we'll just hang out right here. Pick up all the XP when we're done. Definitely daggers on Hansi is way better. Way better. The wave clear is just so much better. Um, hopefully I can get maxed out, uh, whatchamacallits here. Cause that, like I said, that would put us over 100. Okay, cool, we got that. Get all this. Another one just dropped. Over here. I don't think I'm... Yeah, I'm, I didn't get to it in time. Like, the wave player is just too slow. It's just too slow. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'll take another projector now. Uh, 
Not that that'll probably make too much of a difference, but do area damage. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. Actually, pretty good. We do need to get more healing though. Max out our hearts if we can. Because this is the Astro we're going against, so or Astrid. So I mean. I have a good feeling that we're going to get smoked if we uh, <clears throat> don't get some more wave clear going on. Okay. I think if we can max out the rest of our upgrades, I think we'll be fine. And, like, since we got the one that um, kills enemies, if they're, like, at, like, 15% health or, like, 5 point... 7.5 like health or whatever since we got those that might help us clear the uh ads and help us just focus on the boss when the time comes so that that could be good maybe not maybe we should have went for boss damage but we'll see here in a sec um let's of course get this let's max this out and then we'll get this one here and then we'll just put points into our ultimate i think so 17, so 20, 20 points we need. I think we might be able to get it. We also need a half a heart. Oh, and if we can get two more um, shadow orbs. Two more shadow orbs and not get hit. Be good. To just give us the highest crit possible. Cause like if we can get up to that 20 or that 77% crit and then we get the um, 50%, all of our attacks should crit unless we get hit and we lose the shadow orbs. Even right now, like 97% crit, like we should crit almost every single time. I would like to think. There we go, now we're full HP. Good there. I mean, 136 isn't bad for seedlings either. I would like to be closer to 200 in hard mode. Um, oh, damn it. Um, hard mode I'd like to be close to like 200, if not more. And then, um, expert mode, like three or 400 would be cool. 500 would be like uh, probably ideal. Since stuff's getting so flippin' expensive to put points into. Okay. Yeah, we're not gonna get, uh, maxed out shadow orbs, unfortunately. Um, but I will still take this. Um, yeah, that should work. That should work. Alright, I mean, we got everything maxed. Um, let's throw some points, I guess, into probably this guy. And let's get this show on the road. Oh, I don't know why I just used that. I think it was a magnet. Um, yeah, I don't have enough. That was a waste. Oh well. Okay, well, he's al she's already down to half HP. Oh man, and we actually shred her shield. That was actually insane, how much damage we did with our shield. I think it's because, like, all of our pools are going underneath her. Like, there's no ads for our pools to go under. So they just go under her, <clears throat> and we just we just melt her. That's that's what's happening. Like all of our pools are stacking on her, so it's just destroying the crap out of her. Yeah, she's dead. So pools pools are definitely pretty good against bosses. So we unlocked uh, the long guard skin for Hansi. Cool. Venomous Dagger. Okay. I assume that's like a poison weapon. 664. Yeah, not not great. Definitely daggers are better, but hey. What are you going to do? This has been Nordic Ashes. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys tap that like button down below. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. There's also other uh, uh, swarm survivors on the channel that you guys want, would like to check out. You guys can. Um, but yeah, this has been Nordic Ashes, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.